everyone, and welcome to Inspectioneering's Industry Spotlight, a new short video series where we showcase new technologies, highlight unique services and solutions, and get to know a little more about the people behind them. My name is Jeremiah Wooten, and in today's episode, we have with us Ryan Streeter, Divisional Vice President of Digital Operations for Mistross Group, joining us to talk a little bit about this new digital solution for inspection reporting, Mistross Digital. Ryan, thanks for being with us today. Uh, you probably don't know this, but you're actually the inaugural guest for Inspectioneering's Industry Spotlight series, which we created to shine some light on not only new technologies and solutions, but also on the purpose and the people behind their development. Well, thanks for having me, Jeremiah. I really appreciate it. So, um, I wanted to, you know, obviously get into Mistross and learn more about what you guys are doing in the inspection space. But before we do that, can you take a quick moment to kind of share your story and how you got into this position? Sure. So again, my name is Ryan Streeter. I've uh, been in kind of the business analysis and custom software development space for a little over 20 years. Uh, past 13 years or so, I specialized in the oil and gas space, really focusing on helping owner operators all around the world, really maximize the efficiency of their inspection business specifically uh, through the application of digital technology. So in my current role um, with Mistrust Group, as you mentioned, um, I'm responsible for driving the development and adoption of digital technology uh, throughout the organization for our customers, uh, as well as complementary third-party service organizations. And really what I'm trying to do is bridge the gap between the core business and IT. Uh, and we approach technology with the end user experience really in mind. That's the top priority. And we're looking for opportunities to streamline and digitalize um, any paper or manual based processes and enable customers to better leverage the power of their you know, existing IDMS systems, CMS systems uh, with complementary digital solutions. Very cool. Well, we're super excited to have you with us today and to learn more about Mistross Digital. Um, and you know, I think that a good place to start, I think it was is Simon uh, Sinek who said um, something to the effect of, and I'm probably butchering it, It's but um, he said, for successful businesses, your employees and your customers should always understand the why, mm -hmm. um, because people don't buy what you do, they buy why you do it. So I think that's really a perfect place for us to start today is really just, you know, first question, you know, I have for you is kind of why was Mistrust Digital created? Sure. Well, facilities around the world, you know, especially in today's market, they're under immense pressure to maximize performance, ensure compliance and improve safety. Um, for decades, paper-based processes, especially with inspection, uh, manual data entry have really handicapped um, the process uh, and leadership teams to get the job done the way they know they need to. Yeah. I mean, that's something that, that, you know, talking with, um, you know, clients and customers, uh, owner operators in a variety of industries from oil and gas, refining, petrochemical, chemical, everybody's kind of dealing with those same issues. Um, what are, what are some of the pain points you guys have seen your customers experiencing, if you don't mind sharing? Yeah. I mean, there are quite a few that we've experienced, but if I were to kind of pick my top five, uh, it'd be, you know, first of all, planning and scheduling work, um, your compliance verification, verification or repeat work. We see a lot of that um, reporting. So NDE reporting, inspection reporting, and then finally data entry and review. So if we dive a little bit into that with planning and scheduling, it's, it's quite complex uh, depending on the nature of your specific business, but owner operators are constantly having to reconcile compliance due dates, with special projects, turnaround schedules and the like, and plan their work as efficiently as they possibly can. And then of course you have to worry about manpower availability. Um, with compliance verification, uh, tool time of course can be lost um, as your leadership, make sure everyone has their certifications, equipment calibrations, all the documentation they need, field permits, safety prerequisites, you know, JSAs, JHAs, um, any other approvals they need to get the work uh, done. And then the repeat work, the verification work, um, it's caused by you know, field inspectors having a lack of information from a historical IDMS uh, to properly identify any anomalies while they're still out there in the field. And then reporting, um, you know, they can be latent, the quality can be inconsistent, uh, which is a challenge. And that's because they're manually written, right? They handwrite some stuff in the field, they go back to the office and write Word documents, PDF files, et cetera, 
And depending on the complexity and remote location of the work, that might be delivered you know, days, weeks later in some cases. Uh, on the topic of data entry and review, last but not least, of course, uh, once data actually comes back from the field in those reports, they're typically manually entered into an IDMS or some other system of record. Uh, and it's a redundant step, right? It eats precious time. Um, that's time that's better spent on data analysis, taking action on those anomalies. And really it's, it's even more challenging when your management uh, is remote to the site of inspection, which we've seen in this last year of, of social distancing quite a bit. So after taking a, a long, hard look at our own processes, these systems involved, and, and those that our customers you know, use and experience, um, these inefficiencies and bottlenecks became really obvious to us and we knew there had to be a way. So that's, that's why we built Mistrust Digital. Yeah, I mean, it sounds like there's, you know, obviously a lot of antiquated systems and inefficiencies that that can be improved on and technology, you know, is changing so rapidly and, and people are finding new ways to leverage it to improve their processes and systems. So, um, you know, thank you for sharing, sharing that with us. And um, I think that a, a good place, um, or at least I'm interested in learning more kind of how you went about. So once you, you know, you, you realize these problems, you went through the process of kind of understand, better understanding what these problems were. How did you start designing Mistrust Digital and building it to, to address those? Yeah, it was quite a process. Um, within Mistrust, we're a fairly large organization and, you know, we have inspectors, technicians, engineers, quality specialists, software developers, and we're all constantly trying to understand how we can help uh, refineries, pipelines, offshore platforms, processing facilities around the world operate more efficiently. Because it's not just about us and our business. We're hoping to deliver and partner and uh, provide services and solutions that benefit the world. Uh, when we first started designing Mistrust Digital, we met with over 20 owner operators and spoke with their inspection teams, their maintenance and reliability personnel, upper management, uh, and really the whole organization to better understand really what's at the core of what people need from technology. And so beyond the, the pain points I already mentioned, uh, what we found is that owner operators were looking to really go lean and trim the fat on you know, the, the extra steps and focus their talented resources on, on value added work. Um, and we, we definitely agree with this mindset and, and we were willing to streamline any of the work processes, uh, including our own customers and third parties as well. Also, we found that after you know, these various conversations that we had with our customers and third parties is that a standalone system completely disconnected from the databases or maybe limited to certain device technologies would have limited value. What they really wanted and truly needed was a, a system agnostic cross-platform solution that could bring all of their information and devices together. So for us, it was really about what's the right platform. And we went through a bunch, believe me, uh, there are quite a few out there in the market, as you probably know. Um, and we had to find one that could enable rapid development, work on any platform, whether it's iOS, Android, Windows 10, web-based, and integrate with any of customer IDMS systems, CMMS, EAM, ERP, or business intelligence tools to give them you know, the flexibility by, by connecting to any modern database solution, you know, using REST API, CSV upload, download, really to have that flexibility. That was really, really important because you need data to be able to flow freely uh, between systems and have less friction in the process. Last, we found that it was you know, very important to customers to have a single universal solution um, that was usable by anybody. So not just Mistrust, not just the customer, not, you know, they wanted everyone to be on a single platform. Um, and of course, Mistrust being a service provider, that's an identity thing that we have to discuss. But we did listen, we agreed, and we decided just like with our PCMS solution that anyone authorized by the customer, whether it's Mistrust, the customer, third parties, can all use this centralized platform. So that was a very, very important thing to them. So with all that in mind, what, is, what does that mean for the people in the plants? What is... What does Mistrust Digital realistically do for owner operators? I don't know if you can tell me like one or two of the biggest benefits your clients have realized um, after implementing it, but um, if you can, that would be great. Yeah, sure. There are quite a few benefits and, and the benefits uh, you know, are realized by Mistrust, they're realized by customers and third parties. So everyone kind of wins. 
But what we found really was that by digitalizing the inspection process and supporting processes around it, including scaffolding, insulation, blasting, painting, coating, kind of everything around the process, and putting that on a, on a central, easy-to-use platform, uh, we you know, realized great improvements in safety and quality, uh, in visibility, which is super important right now with a lot of people being distant, um, and efficiency, of course. Um, our mobile platform governed the start of work, so it says, okay, do you have your JSA? Um, you know, do you have all your historical information? Um, are you certified in your craft? Is your equipment calibrated? All those sorts of things. Um, we enforce procedural adherence. So the, whether you're a brand new inspector or you're a 30 year experienced inspector, you're gonna follow the same procedure uh, every single time. And of course, automatically generating reports really streamlined that process and saved a lot of time. Um, and having all this information available in a portal, I want kind of a one-stop shop gave it access to KPIs and reports. So there are a lot of benefits, but really having that single source of truth uh, for all tasks was important. Do you know if there's any data supporting kind of what you just went through, you know, the, the, the benefits realized from this digital uh, transformation, not only that you guys are, are supporting, but that we're seeing around the industry uh, in general? Well, we definitely need more data on the industry at large, but from our personal experience and relating back to some of the pain points that we previously discussed, we've seen a wide range of efficiency gains ranging from 10 to 75% uh, in some cases. And so just kind of focusing on a few of them, planning and scheduling alone, which previously was kind of daily and often reactive, is now able to be done monthly, quarterly, well in advance, and you're seeing a 10 to 20% efficiency gain there. Reporting, of course, I mentioned, you know, when an inspector is spending the last hour of their 10 hour shift, you have at least a 10% efficiency gain there, uh, upwards of 15%, or in some cases, even more, of course. Um, now, the data entry, that's the biggest area of savings, because now it's completely automated. Um, you're uploading data into your system of record, and it's, it's very high quality. So we've seen a good 25 to 75% there. But there are Many, many other efficiency gains, uh, you know, to be seen uh, by implementing digital. And end of the day, uh, what we found is that, you know, as adoption increased, time on tools was improved. And, and this is kind of the, really what you're trying to get at. We want people working on the tools, doing work, um, not sitting in an office, not waiting, right? So time on tools increased, reports were generated far faster with higher quality and the overall inspection program cost decreased. Now, there were cases where customers opted to have you know, a consistent budget year over year. And in those cases, we were able to get more work done for the same dollar. So that's important as well. It's still savings, but they're, they're rolling it into that consistent budget. Um, but we were able to trim the fat and existing resources focused on higher value tasks. And you know, as I mentioned, one of those is you know, performing data analysis, which leads to findings, which leads to actually taking action. So we've gone over um, kind of the purpose behind uh, Mistrust Digital and as well as the, the creation and development of it um, and also some of the benefits you guys have seen with it, specifically with your clients. But, you know, digitalization is a buzzword right now across the industry and across a lot of industries. Um, but what are you kind of seeing within our industry uh, when it comes to digital digitalization, you know, why is it happening and where and who is it impacting the most? You know, it's interesting kind of digitalization, how it came to the surface. And as you mentioned, it's a buzzword, just like kind of the Internet of Things, IoT, digital twin. Um, you know, we're hearing it everywhere we go. And it's partially driven by seeing and experiencing these technologies in our daily lives. You know, we're, we're constantly surrounded by connected digital devices in the workplace and at home. And even on our physical bodies, right? I have a <laughs> smartwatch right here, but we're wearing them on our heads. We're doing augmented reality, all kinds of cool stuff with gaming and you know, just the world we live in. So it's, it's kind of undeniable that these technologies would also work in our workplace and streamline our processes um, you know, in, in the industry. Um, so the industry at large is, is kind of leaning toward the connectedness of assets and, and real-time data analytics. So while we focused more on this discussion on you know, the digitalization of inspection work processes with Mistrust Digital, in parallel, Mistrust has made the distinct decision to make digital kind of the core identity of our business. And we focused on continuous sensor technology, you know, kind of fixed sensors um, on assets, mobile technology, 
augmented reality, artificial intelligence, machine learning, and just generally big data. Because that's really what we do if you think about it. As a large organization and an oil and gas industry, we're collecting a ton of data all the time from sensors, from devices, from people. And we need to assemble that data and make sense of it. So that's really a big focus, not just for us, but the industry at large. Um, and actually, as we, we mentioned in our second quarter earnings call recently, we announced the launch of our, our OneSuite software platform. It's kind of a centralized ecosystem to integrate all of our software solutions into one space um, to make data really insight-driven, user-friendly, accessible, and, and actionable. That's a really important word um, because it's not about collecting tons and tons of data. It's what do you do with that data? How do you get value from it? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we've seen it from companies um, everywhere. I mean, data data is all over the place. There, there's an overwhelming uh, amount of data collected. However, it's the it's the organization and analysis of that data that's really the struggle. Um, and and so, where where do you see, for example, an owner operator who's considering building something? like this, building a solution like this internally, um, where do you see the pitfalls in that? Or what advice would you give to them, you know, if they're evaluating whether to try to do this uh, internally and, and take on this endeavor or partnering with a, you know, a company like Mistrust to drive their digital transformation? Yeah, it's actually a really good question because we've seen both. We have some customers where they've developed their own solution. Of course, we have our own solution and there are other off the shelf type solutions that you can get. And in recent years, we started for a moment seeing a trend toward owner operators wanting to invest and develop their own solutions internally. Um, but what we're now seeing is kind of a reversal in that pattern. They're realizing it's, it's complex, it's expensive in some cases, because uh, they have to build and maintain these solutions and it's very narrow to their business. What Mistross brings to the table is this, the broad experience across various you know, industries, oil, gas, energy, and kind of bringing it together into one centralized platform and partnering uh, with the customer to say, hey, let's let's bridge the gap, let's simplify um, the process. Our customers want to execute their business. That's really what they want to do well. They want to turn oil into gas, <laughs> move product from place to place, do it safely, keep stuff in the pipes. They typically don't want to be performing software development. So that's where we fit in. And it's really not just about the software development. It's about the whole solution. It's sitting down, talking to the key stakeholders, making sure the, the work processes are looked at, not just the technology. Because in some cases, eliminating a couple process steps is really all that's needed. Um, but we're, that's what we're doing. We're, we're stepping in, we're discussing processes, we're meeting with the right people and bringing uh, solutions through technology in many cases to, to make this possible. Well, Ryan, thanks again for carving out some time to chat with us today. Thank you, Jeremiah. It's been a pleasure. If you have any questions for Ryan, feel free to drop a comment in the comment section below. And if you'd like to learn more about Mistrust Digital and what it can do for your organization, click the link below.